Hi there, this is Larry from the Halifax Metro Vineyard. Uh, nice to see you today and chat with you. Um, this is going out to the vineyard in Canada. I just got back in Africa, so I'm doing a bit of an up update of what's happening with the vineyard uh, globally and just places where uh, there's new association of vineyard churches and just some of our Canadian connections with that. Um, some of us might remember back in 1995 where we were in Anaheim and we were prayed for and released as the first country outside of the States. And since then, the vineyards continue to grow, of course, around the world. And next month in May, Brazil will be the 13th uh, country to be released as its own association. And um, some people are saying in the next five to 10 years, that number may double to, to 25 countries that have their own national leader, uh, their own leadership team, and um, just lots and lots of growth happening. And so um, in, uh, in Brazil, David and Anita will be down there. Um, Art and Cindy Ray, of course, work down there. Um, Beth Wood will be going down there. And Beth lived in uh, Brazil for years and worked with the churches there. She's taken one of our youth leaders, Caitlin, down there with her. So that's very, very exciting. Um, last year, I had an opportunity to be in Chile and work with the churches there, speak at their National Leadership Conference. There's a group of four uh, couples that are giving leadership there, and it's good to share some of our own experiences and some of our growth uh, challenges uh, in terms of what does it take to really build a family across a, a network of churches. Um, very exciting what's happening in the Himalayan region as, as David heads off there. Uh, for Nepal and Northern India to be with Noel and Donna Isaacs. Uh, many of you have been um, praying for the work there and have been there. Uh, Nathan and all the guys at Winnipeg Vineyard and Todd and the, the Epic Vineyard, of course, have been working throughout Asia for years. And uh, that's been just a, a really wonderful part of our, of our global family as the, as the Canadian uh, Vineyard. I just got back from Lake Malawi in the country of Malawi, and I met with about 30 other national workers, vineyard guys from all over Africa who are planting lots of churches and doing a holistic ministry and it just moved your heart so much to hear their stories. We even had two guys from South Sudan, uh, the newest um, country globally, and they've got, I think, seven churches planted up there as well and just facing so much opposition, but just going forward with uh, with the joy of the gospel. And so it really, you know, it strengthens you when you're with these guys. And next year, I hope to go back and gather a lot of them around Lake Victoria, like from Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, Tanzania, um, Eastern DRC, um, and just to build some more community and develop relationships with them. So I think the big thing that comes out of here is just the word open door. There's such an open door for us as Canadians. Um, and it reminds me of that verse in Revelation uh, 4, I think, where, where Jesus says, I have opened a door for you, uh, which uh, no one can shut. I, I forget if it's Revelation 3 or 4, go there and read it. But, and uh, I just think that's the, that's the word for us. There's an open door and we can just go through that with confidence knowing that God has given us good things to share. So let's be praying about where to go, where to partner, uh, because uh, some great days are before us. So God bless to all of you and all of the people who are working together to do this. So bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.